Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. For today's video, we are going to go ahead and do a foodie follow-up. There's a lot of mess going on over in the foodie-verse. We will start by discussing what she has been up to recently in a quick recap, and then we'll go on to discuss her Snow White video, which has been making waves as well as today's controversy when she uploaded a video, I guess without watching it, and she showed us something that she shouldn't have. One thing's for sure, she doesn't want this out there. I've got the footage, so let's just get right into it, I mean, shall we? All right, you guys, welcome back to our foodie follow-up. We'll start off by talking about what foodie has been up to lately. Well, she was supposed to be doing WW, but many believe that was just a farce from the get-go. Her first meal on Weight Watchers was a Hardee's chicken sandwich fast food mukbang that came out to a whopping 34 points. People have been left scratching their heads, wondering if she even purchased a plan or if this was all just a joke for her, something to fill the time in these increasingly mundane mukbangs. Other than that, she is now selling her Beezer spray internationally, with many speculating no one will ever get their order. Will it get caught up in customs? I'm waiting to hear reports on whether or not people's product comes in. It could be an interesting new scandal or a nothing burger. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. She's been snarky on her community tab, clapping back at Missy Moo, just breezing, etc., stating the following. I have the right to defend myself. I do my own content. I don't come for anyone. I always defend myself over people who target me every day in several videos so that they can feed their kids. Kids. So cut the virtuous, quote, good Muslim crap. Bye. Further cementing that Weight Watchers was just a cheap ploy for hate views, she returned with one of her most ridiculous videos lately, this one being called Eating Burger King and Talking About Snow White. It was interesting because she posted this and then deleted it and then reposted it again, a trend that is happening today as well. What's going on, girl? Are you not watching these videos back? In the thumbnail, she asserted Snow Woke? Is she she going to start doing commentary on the state of American culture? Well, probably not. She's not one to really commit to research. But Chantal was so happy during this mukbang, and we all know why. It's because she has copious amounts of calories in front of her. Nothing brings her more joy except junk food. You know her man ain't providing it. Even thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away from home, Foodie Beauty is still Foodie Beauty. She's upset because they don't have fountain drinks. The food looks old, cold, and covered in mold, and this meal came out to a modest 2,100 calories. Which is interesting because she still could lose weight if this was an OMAD situation type deal, which is one meal a day, but it's not. I wonder if her body is starving, hear me out, for nutrition. So she is here to talk about the new Snow White remake movie. Recently, a picture leaked onto Twitter or X showing Snow White and I guess the magical creatures. Foodie was under fire during a recent live stream where she asserted that it's quote Snow White not Snow Beige, right? Because the actress playing Snow White, her name is Rachel Zegler, and she's a Hispanic woman. So this Burger King mukbang was basically her fixing her mouth to concede that this actress is, quote, white enough to play Snow White. That's basically what the whole video is about. And then she ends by basically saying she doesn't care, which is the same thing she said about the Ariana Grande situation. If she doesn't care, then why make a video about it? Rachel Zegler is also in the new Hunger Games movie, which I will definitely be watching, but I don't really care about another Disney remake. I might watch it if I'm bored when it comes on Disney Plus using someone else's password, but that's about my level of interest. I don't think I've watched a Disney movie since Encanto, which was so good, by the way. Someone said on Twitter, and I think they're right, that Chantal sees herself as a better pick for Snow White. <laughs> what do you guys think? The delusion, right? It's interesting that she dumps on the Western world so frequently now, because in the past, she saw people from other cultures as needing help from her. Remember her Who Wants Citizenship live stream? So the big controversy of the day comes from this deleted Taco Bell rant 
mukbang preserved in its original form by Stuff K said on Twitter. Is this Taco Bell neutralizing? She's doing a weight loss journey update, and I know what you guys are thinking. What weight loss journey, girl? Don't kid yourself, boo. She makes a joke about animal abuse, saying talking to your cat in a stern voice is a too soon, girl. Too soon. When the BBJ situation happened, my video was called Foodie Beauty Will Never Recover From This. And as we can see, it doesn't seem like she will. Chantal claims that people are acting brand new when it comes to weight loss. She's obviously off track. I mean, no kidding. She attempts to excuse her nonsense by stating that so much of the world is obese. It's not easy, guys. But nobody ever said it would be easy. You're just not even trying, so stop lying. Putting out all these false promises just to ensure some sort of views or some sort of controversy surrounding you. It's just giving Chantal in 2020 when she would do the same thing, promising a diet plan. But nowadays, nobody even takes it seriously for a second. We already know it's going to go right out the window within 24 hours. Like she doesn't even try anymore. At least back in the day when she had these fabulous new diet plans, she would make at least one vlog kind of showing us what she was doing. And then the next, next day would be the mukbang. Now it's like she starts it and does the mukbang the same day. Like it's over before it even begins. It just feels so contrived. Chantal says that reaction channels over 250 pounds can't have an opinion on her. <laughs> So I guess I'm in the clear. And she's upset because it's expected that she fails. Well, yeah, I mean, it is expected. At this point, how many times have we been down this path? It's always the same thing. We just discussed how she talks about a new plan and then less than 24 hours, it's out the window. She doesn't even try. Chantal says that therapy isn't always the answer, but I can't help but think that she's never really tried therapy, like actually tried it instead of just doing one appointment and then saying it's not for her and, you know, wanting to cancel the next appointment last minute. I doubt she's really lasted more than one or two sessions. They don't tell her what she wants to hear, and that's the end of that relationship. But Chantal is going to make a meal plan with satisfying, nutritious, point-friendly foods. So WW is still on. She'll be back tomorrow with a family-sized portion of rice and a heaping helping of excuses. And I can't take her seriously raging with cheese on her lip while guzzling 7-Up. She's upset because people have been saying that she was attacking Candy, hungry fat chick. She did seem very underhanded when she was talking about her carnivore diet, but Chantal asserts that she wants what's best for Candy, even though she's clearly enraged at her success and jealous about people's response to it. So what triggered her to do this rage or clap back at her critics was a video done by Just Breezing today that showed a clip of Salah kind of manhandling Julia. It was clear that Julia was uncomfortable and wanted to get out of the positions that Salah was putting her in, and Chantal was upset that this was called out. She claims people suck for trying to trigger her, and yet she takes the bait every single time. At this point in the video, Chantal says that she can't be canceled, and she goes on this whole rant about canceling, how she will never be canceled. But hear me out, her views have been the absolute lowest ever since the BBJ situation, so what do you call that? The interesting thing about Chantal is that people watch her because she's awful. So while she can cross that line repeatedly, I don't see her necessarily getting canceled. I mean, she's perpetually canceled, kind of like Trisha Paytas. Foodie is angry that people diet shame her for having a bad day. But I can't help but think, honey, a bad day? Do you mean a bad decade? And here's where things take a turn for the strange. At the end of the video, she forgot to edit this part out. She leans to the side and you can hear a trumpet. She then calls out to her man. Did you hear that? Roll it. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thanks for listening to me rant. <laughs> Bye. Some give it to, some give it to, some give it to, to all girls. Pretty girl.
Did you hear that? So what do you guys think? Was this a genuine mistake or did she do this to manufacture a controversy? Foodie Beauty returned most recently in a live stream called I'm So Sorry. And it was really just clickbait. She explains that she had to take down the Taco Bell video from earlier because she forgot to edit that part out where she farted. Salah comes home with food for her, her little courier, and guess what it is? Jollibee, a bucket of fried chicken and spaghetti. Salah also got her gravy to drink. King Beezer or King Enabler? She claims to be taking a break from WW. I mean, how many breaks are you going to take? Is it really a break if you never started? Can you really be off track if you were never on track? Make it make sense. When will she ever take something seriously? And how long will Salah put up with all of this? Clearly, he doesn't seem to mind at this point. I do wonder, as we have seen cracks forming in their relationship, how solid is that relationship behind the scenes? Does Salah just kind of do his own thing during the day and get her food to keep her quiet? He's handling his perfume business hanging out in the red room and just playing video games while he enjoys the benefits that Chantal brings, but not her company. Either way, when it comes to Weight Watchers, she's not fooling anyone. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the, the next one. Bye, guys.